Hello Shelby County families, Dr. Nyhoff coming to you with another update. It's hard to believe another week of NTI is in the books. The first thing I want to talk to you about is a message specifically for our high school students. High school students, we need to check our STU, our student account, our email regularly and respond to your teachers. So our principals are encouraging me to encourage you to check those accounts regularly. If you want to ask for help, there are multiple ways to ask for help. You can do that with Google Classroom. You can do that with Remind for your teachers who use Remind text messages. You can do that, of course, with your STU, your student email, or you can call the school phone and leave messages. We'll get back to you. School food pickups. Those are changing next week. Instead of having daily food pickups, those are going to be on Monday and Wednesday. That's a safety issue. We're trying to reduce the contact between human beings as much as possible during this time. And so on Monday and Wednesday, we will have food pickups at the schools. Community food banks exist in our county. I want to make sure you know that we have community food banks. We believe as a community that there is a message that needs to be broadcast about that. So we're working together with fiscal court, city government in Simpsonville and Shelbyville, and the local newspaper and our local churches to blast out that information just in the next few days. So be looking for that. If you're not aware of food bank options, we're gonna push that information out to you. In the meantime, if you need quick assistance with that, call our schools, go to the number for the Family Resource Centers. Our Family Resource Centers can help you with that or go to our school websites and look at the tabs there for food banks. I want to brag on a few educators that are doing their part. This is always scary because there's so many great educators in our district. But going above and beyond, I want to point out five people. Mr. Wampler and Mr. Cordray, in their classrooms, they both have access to uh, create things and make things. And they have been making parts to help in the hospitals with managing the masks, the face masks, and helping make them more comfortable. They've made thousands of parts, and these are things that are being used right away in our local healthcare industry. Thanks to them. And to Ms. Ropp and Ms. Gaither and Ms. Schmidt, these are folks that I know of who've been making masks and providing face masks to people in our community. So thanks so much to our educators who are doing their part to help out with the pandemic. Seniors, time is marching on as we all know and there is a scholarship hub on our school and district websites that you can go to to work on scholarship applications. If you're not on top of that, please go there. Every year there are scholarship opportunities that are available and missed because kids don't take advantage of them. Now's a great time to be applying for scholarships. The Superintendent's Advisory Committee, this is a group of students, we have two of them, one for middle school age students starting with fifth graders and one for high school age students. I met with both of those groups today what a great honor to spend an hour or so with each of those groups. They're doing great work at home. They gave us great feedback. I'm thankful for their feedback. So we're gonna be, as we continue into NTI next week, making adjustments, again, based on that good feedback. Finally, I wanna mention the governor's guidance. I've had some questions in the last day or two about when will we give the next announcement about the school calendar and what might happen next. That hinges on the governor's guidance. He has told us the week of the 20th, which is next week, that we will have some additional guidance about the term of how much longer we're gonna be out of school. As soon as we get that announcement, we'll be ready to react quickly, get that on our next video to you to tell you how we're moving forward. As always, we wanna thank you for your participation. We're continuing to average around 93% participation. We want to stay there or get above that. So we encourage you to be a part of learning through our non-traditional instruction. Please email us, please call us, please reach out to us if you have any questions, anything we can do to help you.
Thanks. Have a great weekend. Not so much like advice, but just like supporting teachers because like they're going through the same thing we are. And I know it's stressful for kids that have to communicate with five teachers. So I can't imagine being a teacher and having to make lesson plans and then keep in contact with hundreds of students. So just like support and letting them know that like we're thankful for all that they do, not just in the regular school year, but especially right now. Yeah, like, I have less of advice, but more of, like, positive affirmations, like, reminding them that they're doing great, like, how they don't know exactly how to teach under these circumstances, but they're doing their best and they're doing a good job at it.